Hey, another, another, another ra ra ranchy, raunchy, 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 another raunchy, no, another interesting anti-masker decides to put themselves front and center again, because this is a thing I'm just confused about, I'm utterly confused, these anti-maskers, right, they seem to be very um, eager to get themselves in front of a camera and tell people exactly why they're refusing to wear a mask for some unbeknown reason, I don't know why, Whenever they get up in front of the camera, they always embarrass themselves. They're never articulate. They never have any succinct point. It's always nonsense that they're spouting, right? It's conspiratory non nonsense, stuff that would make QAnon proud. And they're sitting there speaking boldly about their claims about something, you know. And it's interesting because these are the same people who had no idea COVID even existed prior to COVID-19 transporting itself from Wuhan over into the shores of the US and now suddenly they've become virologists overnight and they want to let everybody know and this is another example of said thing again free speech and all that right say what you want but god damn it sometimes it's better to let the experts speak but regardless this anti masker decided to speak about her um, <laughs> experience with discrimination uh, being an anti masker so I just wanted to share some of my experience with you, what it's been like um, being an unmasked individual in Johnson County. This why is she why is she doing it in, par in parentheses or in, in quotation marks? Like summer, uh, I could say a lot about my time in Johnson County this summer. Not oh, she read a poem. Mask, she, she, which is she brought a medium post with her and read it out loud. <laughs> it's my choice as a free individual. But I'll boil it down to one point, which is discrimination. <laughs> it has nothing to do with a virus. <laughs> it has everything <laughs> she couldn't be any more whiter, man. Not again, not to be that guy, but she couldn't be any more wiser. She's like Michigan white, right? She's like flipping, you know, yeah, she's Michigan white. Look at her. She blends in with a flipping, you know, with everything that she's wearing. She probably got on what? Let's, let's assume what trainer she's wearing. Not New Balances. Um, not Essex. What's she wearing? She got boots on. Has she got slippers. Does she have a pair of Birkenstocks? Yeah, she's probably a Birkenstock wearer, right? Crusty Birkenstock wearers. Um, her feet haven't had any care and attention in them in years. She probably hikes in those Birkenstocks. Jesus Christos, discrimination, discrimination. And at the end, the funny thing again at the start of the video, right? Um, freedom to choose, right? Cool. You're free not to wear a mask, but then when you come into my private place of business such as a supermarket such as a you know whatever a salon a gym then you have to abide my right my rules and if my rules require you to wear a mask just wear it so that's again that's the thing as well i don't have a problem with these anti-maskers do what you want to do you guys are psychos but whatever live your life innit? it we're all going through this crazy thing together some people have decided to stay on one side of the fence cool do your thing but it's this desire to somehow make everybody be an anti-masker as well. That's very, very bizarre. So you're saying it's your freedom of choice not to wear it. But then when you come into my place of business, I tell you, you have to wear one to be in here. You then say I'm discriminating against you. Make it make sense. Thing to do with how we treat one another. I am discriminated against every single day in my county now. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, 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 madam. Welcome, right? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Immigrants the world over are looking at you and saying, congratulations for being so bold and welcome to our side. I'm told, stand back. Stand back. Oh, that's the worst you're getting, right? Stand back. No one's following you around the shop. You're not getting beaten up. You're not getting chased out of areas. You're not getting spat on. You're not getting made lewd comments about if you walk up to a certain place with a certain individual on your arm. None of that's happening to you. You're not getting pulled over consistently. You're not getting harassed, <laughs> right? Someone's putting their flipping hand out of you. Stand back. Stop. Don't move. What? <laughs> you don't care about other people. You can't come in here. Ma'am. Ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. If ever there was a Karen, isn't it? She's, everything in her face is small. Small mouth, small nose, small eyes. Just beady, looking through flipping blinds, calling neighbours. I mean, calling the police about your barbecue. It's not to code. Like, guys, she's really young too. That's the thing too. Imagine being this, um, uh, this stiff, this boring, this um, lacking in, you know, je ne sais quoi at that age. God damn you, woman. You have to wear a mask. Okay. This medium person is mad. One. Leave. 
<laughs> so I can't get my avocado on toast. <laughs> I can't get my triple maca coco 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 Oh, I thought she was going to go for the juggle and say, we are treated worse than blacks. Oh, that would have been mad. She's not with it. She's not with it. You got to say it with your chest. You got to say it with your chest. <laughs> we're treated like we're not even human. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Someone's fellow American. Uh-huh. I'll just tell you an example. Oh, yesterday. she didn't go for it. She's not, she's not bad at life. She's not bad at life. Day, but yesterday, I went to mail. Every day of her life, she's been discriminated against, right? Every day of her life, this this um, spectacularly white young lady from middle America or wherever she's from has been discriminated against all her life. All her life, she's faced just obstacles. Firstly, for being a woman. Firstly, for being white. Firstly, for not wearing a mask. Firstly, for wearing dirty Birkenstocks. And lastly, for not shaving her armpits. Discrimination, discrimination, discrimination. Mail package at my local FedEx Kinko's. Walk in. Set the package down on the counter, politely ask for a scan and a receipt. <laughs> Boring! Stand back. Get back. Right there. Move. Stand back. Move. Move back. Purple dot on the ground. Stand on the purple dot. Okay. Okay. So He's I did. Good girl. Scan the package. Uh -huh. The receipt. Uh-huh. Didn't put the receipt on the same counter. This is boring. Sorry. Come on, on, man. Put it over to the side. Oh, so I had side. to walk around. <gasps> you had to walk around <laughs> as to avoid him as he retreated from his register as I approached. Like I'm some sort of Hold on. So she's, so she's not even complaining about being discriminated against for not wearing a mask. She's complaining about the regulations that are in place in terms of social distancing and whatever protocols, whatever establishment that you go into has when it comes to dealing with customers and people that are coming into your store. Huh? I thought she was complaining about not ha having to wear a mask. She's complaining about having to stand on a dot and having to, what, put her receipt around somewhere else and put the box, I'm guessing, in Kinko's through another window. Oh, God almighty, the entitlement. Leper. And this is, this is our community now. This is the division that has been created by you guys allowing these. I have no idea what to say. I'm actually legitimately lost for words. She's complaining not about being an anti-masker. She's complaining about the restrictions that are in place for COVID. Like, is she not aware that hundreds and thousands of people have died? I think in the world, it's probably at a million. I'm pretty sure it's just past a million. Yes, it may not be as serious as you think. Yes, you may think it's the flu. But for now, we're all going to pretend like it's a serious thing. Then once it's over, or once it kind of delves, dies down, then you can kind of pipe up and say all your conspiratory nonsense, right? Because there might be some truth to it. That's what I'm saying. That's the interesting part of it. Now probably isn't the time to uh, make such a hard stance uh, regarding how you think uh, business should be conducted or how the economy should be opened up in some regard, right? I think in some cases, people should be saying more things. But I think generally, for the bare minimum, just for the bare minimum, just what that required you having to wear a mask and stand on a flipping spot, just do the thing. No one cares what you have to, what you think regarding that. Just do that, that one thing. Then, of course, if there's certain industries and sectors that you're involved in that you think that you can maybe have an insight with and say, hey, actually, I think this place shouldn't be locked down because of what's going on, blah, 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 then fair enough, speak up. But God almighty, complaining about having to stand on the dot. The entitlement is so amazing. Again, that's why I know she's not really black because black people aren't that entitled. We don't, we don't have that, right? Immigrants in general can't be that entitled, right? Your whole life is spent trying to... Uh, just get by, trying to keep your head above water, trying to compete, um, trying to just survive, trying to provide, right? That's all your life is. You have no time to be entitled. You really have no time. Like you might flex around your friends and shit, but in general, you just head to the grindstone or you just, you know, you're a bit of a, you're a bit of a lazy lout. But for the most part, you have no time to get up in front of your, you know, your local council and complain. You have to stand the door and hand the receipt to the guy around the corner. And he told me to stop with his palm of his hand. And as you know, in the Asian languages, the palm to your hand is very disrespectful. It's like, what the fuck is she talking about? Absolute psycho. Absolute psycho. Again, COVID is bringing out the best in people, as you can see. The best.